The following exercises determine whether the lines given by the equations below are parallel, perpendicular, or neither parallel nor perpendicular. So the first thing is when we approach a problem like this, we have to know well how to actually kind of figure that out. Like what do we need to do with these equations to figure out whether lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither parallel nor perpendicular? It turns out that we have to analyze the slope of each line and we can then compare the slopes. In other words, parallel lines have equal slopes. Perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes. And if then the slopes of these two lines conform to neither of these two, well then that would mean neither parallel nor perpendicular. So why don't we now find the slopes, uh, or let's just take the first equation. Let's find the slope of that first equation. How do we do that? Let me just erase this stuff, get it out of the way. So we simply do that by putting this into our y equals mx plus b form. Now why am I doing that? Well, because I realize that this is basically a linear line. And how did I know that? Well, I knew that because I kind of see that I have an, a y and an x, and neither of these two are raised to any particular power. So basically, whenever you have something like that, we can just do algebra to get it into the following form. So what, let's take a look at how to do that. So I'll write it out. So we got 3y plus 4x is going to equal 12. So I'm going to solve this basically for y. I mean, that's the goal, okay? So we're going to have, let's subtract the 4x from each side. And then it's going to be 3y is equal to, and I'm going to put the x first, negative 4x plus 12. The reason being is because I'm trying to match it up as best I can to that form. Divide each side now by 3, and we're simply now going to get, and we can basically then right, distribute this 3 over each of the terms in the numerator. So it's basically now going to be negative 4 thirds x plus then 4. Now this is the s formula, okay, the um, l equation of a line, right, for the first equation. And which of the values here indicates the slope? Right. It turns out to be the negative four thirds, right? That is the M in the linear equation line. So now I have to do the same thing on the second equation. I have to get that into the form y equals mx plus b, and then I'm going to compare the two slopes. So negative six y is equal to eight x plus one. So now it's all right. I already realized that I got y on the left and x on the right. So it looks very close to this, except this is not solved for y, it's solved for negative 6y. So I gotta get rid of the negative 6, right? And since it's held together to the y by multiplication, that means I gotta divide it out. The negative 6 cancels, leaving me now with, again, we can distribute this negative 6 over each of the terms of the numerator. It would basically be then negative 8 over 6x minus then 1 sixth. Now, this is reducible, right? We can divide 2 into each of those values. And what would we get? Well, if we divided 2 into each of them, it would become negative 4 thirds. And wait a minute, what's the slope of that line? Hmm, negative 4 thirds. Now all we got to do is simply compare, right? We compare this slope to this slope, and we realize that they're the same. And what do we say at the beginning? That they should then be parallel. And that's it, all right? Let's now run through this very quickly, all right? Watch how fast we can do this. Solve this bad boy for y. So watch, 6x minus 9y is equal to 10. I'm going to subtract the 6x from both sides because I want to get the x on the right-hand side, essentially. So negative 9y is equal to negative 6x plus 10. Divide both sides by then the negative 9. Distribute that negative 9 to each term in the numerator. And we're basically going to now come up with and then reduce, right? So it's 2 thirds x plus well, whoops, just seeing if you're paying attention. Negative 10 over 9. Remember, negative 6 over negative 9 is reducible down to 2 over 3, because each of them are divisible by 3. And then the negatives would have canceled out. All right, so here's the equation of the first. Let's do the same exact thing now for the second. So we got 3x plus 2y is equal to 1. Subtract the 3x on over. It kind of becomes... 
not redundant, but it becomes very routine over time. So this is negative 3x plus 1. Divide each side by 2 now. And here we're going to now have y is equal to negative 3 over 2x plus 1 half. All righty. Now all we have to do is compare the slopes. Positive 2 thirds, negative 3 halves. They are indeed opposite, or negative I should say, reciprocals. One is positive, one is negative. Check. And then they're reciprocals. 2 over 3, 3 over 2. That means that these are perpendicular. And voila. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in, okay? Appreciate it very much. I do hope this video helps. And if it did, if you wouldn't mind giving us a hand, hitting that subscribe button, like button, and telling your friends. We'll see you soon. Bye.